Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. I'll talk briefly about the author, go into a spoiler-free overview of the plot, talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. Uh, I listened to this on audiobooks, so unfortunately I don't have a cover to share with you. Um, but M.L. Rio is an author uh, who's relatively young. I ha didn't find a ton about her on the internet. It looks like she published this book in 20, or this book was published in 2017. Uh, she has a background in, as an actor. She also has a master's in Shakespearean studies uh, from a college in England. And apparently she is currently uh, pursuing her PhD in early modern literature was the last I could find. I couldn't find any information about any of her other books. Uh, this may be the only book that she's published. Uh, came out in 2017. Uh, what it's about is a group of college students uh, set at a fictional college in Illinois um, are all a member of, are all seniors in college. They're members of a troupe uh, at this particular college, the, an acting troupe at this particular college. The students, um, the only plays they perform are Shakespearean plays and there is a tight group of seven seniors uh, who, um, through a series of events, uh, one of their seven members is murdered. And that's that basically sets the, the plot in motion. There's a framing device, so you, you learn that relatively quickly. It's not really a spoiler, and that's really the book, is what exactly happened to this character, um, and the book is told through the eyes of a character named Oliver, who we soon realize is in prison uh, for this this crime. And the book is really told in a flashback of him explaining what exactly happened that led up to um, this crime and the aftermath of it, and kind of where the other seven or there six members who aren't him, five members I guess, as it were, who aren't him, um, where they are now. Uh, yeah, and so that's that's the book. It's uh, it's very difficult to talk about this book without talking about the secret history because it's a very similar plot. Um, but I thought that, and I'll try not to make my entire review a comparison between this book and the secret history. Um, so what I liked about the book was that will invariably it's going to happen. I'll actually I reviewed the secret history for this channel a while back. I'll leave my link in the the video below, but. To If We Were Villains, uh, I liked that the book felt uh, pretty fast-paced, especially the first, I'd say, two-thirds. She has a writing style where she'll end, there's a lot of quick chapters, and she'll end at certain points in, in the chapter without going, none of the chapters felt overly long. The writing style is very, fairly breezy. Uh, if you're a someone who has a background in Shakespeare, you're going to find things to really dive into in, is in this book because she has – she talks about not only the plays as the characters kind of perform in the plays, but there's all, all kinds of references to the characters in Shakespeare. There's quotes of, of Shakespeare all throughout the book. Um, it's a fun premise. It just – it was a fun premise in The Secret History. It's a fun premise here. Uh, I think this book felt lighter. It's not as morally heavy – as the secret history felt at times, it doesn't didn't feel like Camus light, which the secret history did at certain times. Um, so those are the things that I liked. I think on the the downside, um, the last third doesn't feel as much as fun as the first third, first two thirds. Um, it felt like there are too many characters in the book. Seven characters is a bit much to keep track of, and I felt like even within that seven, there are some side characters that you you have to keep track of. There were times in the book where they would someone would there'd be someone's name, and I'd be like, I don't know who this person is. Um, so that happened. I think some of the characters, because there's a troop of seven main characters, the the personalities aren't really. Um, drawn out as much. I felt like there are some pretty convenient plot points throughout the book. Um, so those are so those are the things that I didn't like as much. I also I didn't care. The ending there's an ending to the book and it didn't land particularly strongly with me. It was a little I was a little scratching my head at the ending and the purpose of the the ending of the book. Um, but if you enjoy the premise 
if you're looking for something that's like the secret history, but brought into, uh, cause the book is set in the mid nineties. I think it's set in 1997. And I think it's a fun book. If you, like I said, if you're someone who likes Shakespeare and likes the idea of this inner world of these characters who are all obsessed with Shakespeare, uh, I think you'll find things to like about it. I didn't like it for the, the reasons I stated. Um, let me just check my notes to see if there's anything else. It, it, because, like I said, I enjoyed the first two-thirds a little bit more than the last third. It felt a little little bit long. Even though some of the chapters are pretty quick, they uh, are edited to the point where no, none of the chapters felt particularly long. The last, I'd say, third seems to drag a little bit. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and I'll, I'll say this too, um, as a pro... I liked these characters more than I liked the characters in The Secret History. They have a lot of the same foibles. If you're someone who doesn't like sex and drugs in your books, then you may want to stay away from this one because this one also has that. But it didn't feel as... Um, in The Secret History, it feels like the characters, at least to my recollection, were drinking or having drugs or doing drugs all the time. And I felt like it was a little bit more measured here in this and it felt a little bit more realistic to me. Um... So that is really if we were villains. I, I say again, uh, it's very difficult to not compare it to the secret history because it's essentially the same plot. If you liked the secret history but wanted something that was maybe a little bit lighter and didn't feel as heavy but still had a similar plot, still had this the sense of this inner world, uh, then you may want to check it out. And I think it's clear to me at least that when she – there's a, a scene in the book where – there is a auditorium full of students. The Shakespearean students are there. There's also philosophy students who are there. There's also music students that are, that are there. She makes a reference to the Greek students or the classical students that lends me to believe that she knows the secret history pretty well and that she has kind of a, a tip of the hat to that book there. At least that's how I in, interpreted that scene. That may be me interpreting something that wasn't there, but I think she makes – it acknowledge reference to the secret history and kind of clearly knows that a lot of people would read this and be like, oh, that's very similar to the secret history. Um, but it's its own thing. And if you like that book or if you're interested in Shakespeare and you're interested in kind of this inner world of actors, then definitely I would check it out. It's not super, super long. I think my audiobook, uh, I think it's like 300 pages. I don't, in audiobook, I think it was like 13, 14 hours. So it's not a huge, huge investment, and it moves pretty quickly, except for maybe that last third of it. Um, so that's if we were villains. Uh, next time, I'm going to be finally finishing uh, 1Q84. If not, I will be reading, uh, reviewing State of Wonder by Ann Patchett. Until next time, please feel free to like the videos, subscribe to the channel. If you have read uh, If We Were Villains and there's, you think there's anything I missed, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, bye.